Hello, my name is Doug Johnson. I'm with Acumatica, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a single invoice from multiple shipments in Acumatica. The scenario we're going to cover is the one as follows. We have a single customer. He's already placed a portal order via our web portal, and on this demonstration, we're actually going to illustrate creating a phone order. The complexity of the phone order is that it contains items that are located in two different warehouses, thus necessitating the need for two different shipments. So for this orders, these two orders, we're going to have a total of three shipments, two for the phone order and one for the portal. Acumatica is going to simplify the process of creating a single invoice for all of these different orders. The single invoice will be created automatically for the phone order, and then we'll also have the option of adding the portal order at the end. That's how it's done in theory. Let's go to the software and see how it's actually done in practice. To demonstrate this, I'm going to log in as a salesperson. My salesperson has the ability to go in and review existing sales orders. As you can see, here's my order from the portal sale for a single item that we can go ahead and create a shipment for. That's our first order and our first shipment. The other one is an opportunity that we have, and we're going to go convert that to a sales order right now. We're going to take a look at this consumer goods order. We'll open that up. You'll notice that there's two different products specified here, as well as the quantities. Now, when I create the sales order, it's automatically going to select the retail warehouse, because that's the preferred warehouse for my customer. In this case, however, I notice that I need to automatically shift it to the wholesale warehouse because there's not enough quantity to fulfill the order in the retail warehouse. So I'm going to go ahead and make that quick change. And now my order is basically ready to ship. So at this point, I can leave my salesperson and I'm going to log in as somebody who's out in my warehouse. Now my warehouse person has a dashboard that shows the different orders that are ready to ship. I'm not going to do that, however, because Acumatic would automatically combine the two orders so that I only have one shipment from my wholesale warehouse, and I want to illustrate the situation as if I had three shipments. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this order specifically, and I'm going to do an action create shipment for it. This one's going to go from my wholesale warehouse as expected, and then I can go ahead and actually confirm my shipment. This is akin to sending it out the door. So now I've completed my shipment for my portal order. If I come back and refresh my screen, there's only one order that's still required to have shipments. So I'm going to go ahead and hit process, create the shipments for those individual items. I'm going to go to my process shipment screen next, and I'm going to go ahead and confirm my shipments. Notice that two shipments have been created, one from my retail warehouse and one from my wholesale warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and confirm both of those. So now my order's been shipped. The remaining step is to go ahead and create an invoice. To do that, I'm going to become a finance person, or in this case, I'll just become the administrator because I can take care of everything from that perspective. As the administrator, I'll go into the same screens that you saw before, and I'm going to go ahead into the process shipment screen. Here you'll be able to see I can prepare invoices. So the first thing we're going to do is create our invoice for our two different items that we actually, this is all that part of that same order that we shipped together. So I'm going to go ahead and hit process. The system's automatically going to create one invoice for them since they were both part of the same sales order. If I go into my process invoices and memos screen, I'm going to open it up and review it. Here's the invoice that I'm going to review. Now at this point I could go ahead and confirm this invoice. The other thing that I could do is I could go add another order to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's the order that we got via our web portal. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add and Close. And I'm going to save that invoice. And then I can go ahead and release my invoice. The result is three shipments. Two were automatically combined on the same invoice. And then I used the Add Order feature of the invoice screen to add the third shipment to a single invoice. This way my customer, who sent orders in via the portal and via a phone order, got all of them processed the same way and invoiced 
on the same invoice document. Optionally, we can take a look at the, what that would look like from this perspective. You'll see that the print invoice shows my different shipments that were made so that I have three different shipments on the uh, actual document. The reason that would be done is because if there were different shipping charges associated with them, they could be included there as well. The other reason is, is I can create shipping tracking numbers and include them on this particular invoice should I need to uh, do that as well. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video.